What's up everybody? It's Matt here from Matt's Great World and today I'm going to be giving you my review for the movie Moonfall that was released on February 4th, 2022. Now, I remember watching uh, trailers for this film right around this time uh, last year in 2021 and I really, I was honestly a little intrigued but I didn't really uh, care for it all that much probably because I was so uh, underwhelmed by Ad Astra from a few years ago uh, that I really didn't want to, you know, get all hyped about a uh, s space catastrophe movie or a uh, space action movie or something like that and just absolutely get let down. But this movie actually did kind of surprise me a little bit, uh, but overall my expectations I don't think were met all that well. And honestly, uh, it was better than I thought it was going to be, but not as good as I was hoping. And I'm going to get into all of that here in a minute. And I'm going to give you guys my review and overall rating in this video. So I'll start with the positives. We'll work through the negatives and I'll give you my final rating at the end. So that's enough talking. Let's get started. To start off with the positives for Moonfall, without giving too much away, the story and plot line were actually kind of interesting. I liked this idea about how there was some kind of uh, alien AI that was out there trying to eradicate the entire human species or something like that based on our ancestors, you know, having been a spacefaring civilization. Or, or whatever, and, you know, the moon's coming out of orbit, and it's the apocalypse and stuff like that. I liked the, um, the whole sci-fi aspect of the story and the plot, and it really kind of hooked me right away. I wish they had kind of leaned more into that, uh, and kind of experimented with it a little more, but I do like where they were going with it on paper. The second thing I want to talk about is there was a lot of suspense and a lot of action. And I'm not going to lie, Ad Astra, like I mentioned in the intro, was underwhelming to me. And that's because there was no action. They had a lot of, they, they hyped it up to be this film with a lot of action scenes and stuff. But there was like no action whatsoever. And even when there was some, it was really underplayed. So I'm glad they uh, did the opposite here and they had a lot of action scenes and a lot of suspense, a little bit of drama. So that really put, made this movie a little bit better in my opinion. And the third thing I want to talk about was the visual effects. Holy crap. The CGI in this film is ridiculous. It is so good. I loved it. Like, Oh my god. I cannot say enough good things about the CGI in this film. And it definitely took it to the next level. The CGI alone took this film to the next level. And I enjoyed every single minute of it. And overall, with all these things combined, I really did enjoy the movie in those aspects. Plus, I did enjoy some of the motivation behind the characters and uh, what their motivations were in the film. But that really wasn't the case with all of them. So let's jump right into my negatives. And it just didn't feel like there was really a, a lot of reason to care about the majority of the characters. Now there were a few characters that I felt like I could attach to and I could relate to. Such as... Um, Ime Ikwaktor, I hope I said his name right. He plays uh, an army general in the film, and he is a father of one of the uh, kids in the film. And I could definitely see him, I could definitely relate to him, because, you know, I, I, I really like being around kids, and I have a, I'm very affectionate towards kids and stuff like that, so I could definitely relate to him uh, from the perspective of a father, uh, but that really wasn't universal with some of the other parents in film. But overall, the majority of the cast did not really connect to me. And that was a big, uh, that 
that was a big disappointment for me, unfortunately. And the second thing, the second negative that I want to talk about was the pacing was kind of off. It felt like it was a little drawn out, to be completely honest. Not a lot, but it just, it just felt a little drawn out. And it also at times felt like things were moving too quickly. Like we jumped from one uh, crisis to the next so quickly that no one, like we don't really have any idea of what's going on. And that doesn't really happen until the second half of the movie, which, you know, that, that kind of screws up with uh, the viewer's mind in my opinion. And I just did not feel like that did the movie any justice whatsoever. And the movie overall lacked certain amount of emotions. I like characters who can show that their their emotions and they're very and they're able to emote, right? And I, and I love when when we can not only get that from the characters but also from the score and just the overall feeling of the movie. Uh, and I don't feel like Moonfall really was able to capture that sense of emotion. There were some moments where it it, it seemed like the, the cast and the scene was trying to do that, but it didn't really work. Uh, and I, I could see that they were trying so hard to do that, but it just didn't work out for me. And that was really unfortunate. But there was one moment where I, I, it did work, but it was like right at the end of the movie. And it's like, well, now you're, now it's a little too late. Um, so that really, that really was underwhelming to me in that department. And then the fourth negative is just the overall character development was subpar in my opinion. There really, there were, I could understand the motivations and the driving force behind the characters, but just with some of the, uh, some of the switches, like some of the switch, switching that happened with these characters and how they were changing throughout the course of the film just didn't really reach me all that well. And overall, I do think that the sub, the character development was better than what I may be letting on. And to be completely honest, I do think that there is a good movie in what we got. Like, there is a taste of a good film. It's an okay film, in my opinion. It's something I would definitely would not mind going back and watching for a second time. Maybe I'll enjoy it the second time around. I don't know. But at first, it just... Overall, there was just so much happening and so much that they were trying to do that it just kind of fell, fell on its face a little bit. Not flat on its face, but it fell on its face for sure. Overall, Moonfall is a very interesting film on paper, like I said, and I do think it had substance to it. I really do. However, the execution, in my opinion, just, it was not fully there. And you can pin that on several different people, whether it was the director or the cast or whoever you wanted to put that on. I do think that there, uh, there, there, there was a good movie here and there was a good story to be told uh and the performances from the cast were not what i was hoping uh outside of michael pena and amy equator and john bradley those three gentlemen i mean you just nailed it they they nailed their roles and i will say that this was one of the better uh, uh Base action movies that I've seen in a long time. It definitely outplayed Ad Astro by a long mile. Uh, and if you guys want me to uh, give you my thoughts on Ad Astro, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, I'm not going to do a full review because I don't feel like it deserves that. Uh, but I'll just give you like a short uh, couple minute video explaining why I didn't like Ad Astra. Um, and it isn't a movie that I would say I would never watch again. I do think that I would be willing to go back and watch it uh, again at some time in the future. But just purely based on first impressions, it's not it's not the greatest movie in the world. Uh, and that's okay because, you know, there there's definitely room for improvement. And if there is a sequel that is to come, I do think that they can uh, improve upon uh, the first film. So if I had to give this rating, I'd have to give it a 5 out of 10. It's a halfway decent movie, and it's got Ace 
like I mentioned, it's got great action sequences and stunning effects. And the score, I do believe, was actually on par with what they were trying to do with the film. And at the end of the day, the story is what overall is going to pull me in. If you've got a good story and it helps me to emote and connect to the story and make me empathize with the characters and uh, empathize with the situation, then it's a good movie in my opinion. But honestly, it just wasn't all there in this film, to be completely honest. And that's okay, because not every movie needs to do that to be a good movie. Uh, but m the majority of the time for me, there has to be a good story that needs to be told here. <sighs> all right, guys, that's everything I've got on Moonfall for now. Let me know down in the comments what you thought about Moonfall. Did you like it? Did you dislike it? Or were you kind of like me where you're kind of in the middle where it's like, I don't hate it, but I don't love it. Uh, so let me know down in the comments. I want to see uh, what you thought of the film. Get that conversation going. And also let me go, let me know if there's a movie in 2022 that I missed that you want me to watch and review. I'm completely open to anything at this point. Uh, so yeah, that's all I got for you guys. I hope you enjoy your holiday weekend. And as always, stay safe, stay warm, stay happy. It's never goodbye. It's just till next time. All right, guys, see ya.